Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q1 of the weekly contest 275. Check if every row and column contains all numbers. So this one is a race. Um, you know, it, it's a, it's just do what it tells you. Um, the problem is that N is given 100. So you, for, so you can check for every row and every column. And because you only check it once or something like that, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, you can do it in a number of ways. You can um, you could even be really brute force and do something like N cube if you want. But, but that's not like to look at every pair on the same row or same column. But you don't even have to do that. You can just, um, uh, what I did is that um yeah i i for every row that's in the matrix i look at i put everything in a set and i look at the length of that set if it has n elements then um then it's good if it doesn't have n elements that means that there there is a dupe somewhere and then you can return force um and then the, and then of course what i did after that is that uh, so this is for rows to check columns i just flip flip the X and Y uh, for the new matrix. And then I did the same thing. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. This is going to be linear time, linear space, um, where linear is, of course, the size of the matrix, which is N square. So yeah, uh, you can really do better than that for time. For space, you can definitely do uh, maybe better than that. But um, like I said, you, you have to do some trade off of time. Um, but if you're going to do something like with a set, then it's, um, yeah, I guess that. That's going to be all of n space instead of all of n square space, which is better. But you know that's up to you to figure out uh, how you. Um, for me, it's just about. Uh, I think that's the way that I would optimize for. But of course, you know I'm trying to solve this during the contest as soon as possible, and it's still taking me about two minutes. So that's the idea that I would do for this problem. Uh, let me know what you think. I mean, I don't. I, I you know there are different ways you can write the same idea. Um, I think this is you know like you can play around and experiment, but this is the way that I you know try to do it and I optimize it and try to do it as quickly as possible more than you know certain things. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think and you could watch me solve a live during the contest next. Okay, there we go. It's just rows and columns, okay. Oh, no, not this again. Oh, no, there we go. Should be okay. Guess I misread it again. Could submit, don't see anything. Yikes. Okay, let's see. Let's look at this one then. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. Uh, it's a little bit of a redemption round. I mean, I did okay. I think I did this around what I'm expected. Um, but yeah, um, let me know what you think about this problem. Explanation, stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.